So I wanted to show you really quick, I'm almost done with organizing, um, but I'm going to be changing out these four green bins for white ones that I just got. Um, the store didn't have uh, the uh, white ones when I went, and I went to a couple different ones, but I just got these from the store, from the dollar store, and I'm so excited. So I'm gonna put them in and show you the finished product. So I just wanted to show you my process here a little bit as I'm putting things together. And you can already tell how much bigger these bins are um, from these older ones. And you always want to use, if you have more vertical space, you always want to use as much height as you can. That way you can really just put as much as you can into your new bins. Um, but here is what I've been doing. I'm just moving all of the stuff that was in this green one to now this big white bin. Um, and I'm just stuffing this one with all of the kids' snacks, um, and this is going to be the last of it, but it just fits so much nicer in here, and I have all of their snacks now categorized in here, and um, so this is all the miscellaneous snacks, all the onesie twosies, pouches, mom moms, and now this one is going to be full of all of their dehydrated fruit because my kids eat a lot of dehydrated fruit and so do we um so a ton of those and they have their big bin all to themselves all right so here is what these look like now um in here so i have all my snacks and uh, meal prep stuff on the last one over here and everything is nice and white and looks good. I still have a few green ones down here um, that I am just not worried about right now. If I end up finding white at the dollar store again, I will replace these, uh, but for now, they are just fine. Um, I do have these containers I need more of. Um, these are the uh, pop-up ones, um, the airtight. So I um, I need more for like the brown rice here in the corner and I need to take a few things out of the pantry. Um, but I just wanted to show you these four done and then I will now move to putting on stickers on these two bins and these bins. Um, so I'd like to show you here, I have this as my regular sugar um, and behind it is the powdered sugar and I have baking soda. Um, I use baking soda a lot in the kitchen, um, not just for baking. And this one's empty right now, but I do have a plan for brown sugar. I just don't have much of brown sugar right now, um, but I do need to fill that with brown sugar. Um, back there, I have a little container of all of my, um, uh, what is it called? Extracts. <laughs> Uh, my flour, I've always used this bin, so I figured it was fine. And then two of these stackable bins over here of the odds and ends. So almond flour, I used that here and there. Um, dried milk, um, xanthan gum, you know, things like that. A um, little bag of powdered sugar, a little bag of um, the brown sugar, etc. So I'll put labels on those. And I do need a couple more of smaller um, pop-up airtight containers for my, um, you know, a few of the other snacks as well. But for the most part, I think that it's so nice to have snacks in their original packaging packed away in here. Um, and that way you don't always have to, if something that you constantly buy or something that you buy here and there, you don't want to have to constantly be refilling these. Um, so I thought these were good for, you know, white rice, um, oatmeal, which we eat all the time. And I do have, I think it's so cool, a little Ziploc bag up here that I have, um, uh, my pre-made oatmeal mix in. So nuts, chocolate, sesame seeds, um, flax seed, etc. is in that bag up there. So I pour it out, I pour some of that, cook it, then it's all good to go. Um, some nuts, and then these are soups, like pre-made soups that you just add water into, boil, um, and then rice cakes and cereal. So rice cake we eat every morning, cereal for the kids, um, or whenever we want, and that's just the one that we get, the honey -os, and um, our kid just likes eating that plain. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, and then we always have these around, so in so many different kinds. So it's not worth it to get, you know, pop up um, or the containers for those. It's just nice to just throw all of them in here. I just bulk buy them. It's nice to just dump them in here and we're good. Take them out as we need to. Um, and then of course my coffee um, and then my tea. So my tea is nicely organized in these little bins that I got from the dollar store. Oh, these are little drink man. <laughs> There's Ryan. <laughs> um, so I have them all in here and uh, these are the comfort teas, so throat coat and um, all that kind of good stuff. And then this is just miscellaneous. Um, these, oh my gosh, I love them. They're from Amazon. And then I have my coffee in here. Um, I use this every single morning. I've always used this coffee container. Um, behind it, I have, you know, the decaf one, which now houses the uh, matcha container because I don't really drink as much decaf. That's when I was pregnant. Um, and the little bag of decaf that I have is in the fridge. Um, in here I have all coffee things. So we use only, we don't have a coffee maker. We only use the pour over. So we have, you know, the pour over um, filters and, you know, the coffee grinder. We only get coffee that we grind ourselves for the most part. So that's all in here. This is uh, plastic wrap. I haven't really organized this, but it's been this way for four plus years. So I've, it's always worked for me. I always just dump it all in this bin. I probably need to find a better solution, but hey, it works. If it works and it's kind of hiding for the most part, why not just roll with it? <laughs> so bags, uh, plastic wrap, foil wrap, etc. is in here. And this has always housed our pastas. Um, there's orzo, um, different kinds of noodles we use here and there. This is all, they're always just packed in here. So I don't want to use those containers for them because I always have just like one or two of so many different kinds. Um, I'm not one that ever makes the same meal over and over. I make, um, you know, my meals from scratch every single day and we always eat something different. So I always like to get a variety of different stuff. Um, and then these are pretty cool. Uh, from the dollar store as well and these have all of our chips and snacks that are in bags like this um, so i love that and this has the kids uh, bombas from trader joe's that are amazing they love them and we love them <laughs> and then also our uh, protein bars so yeah and then i could show you the rest of it really quick um these are all of our containers and i have not organized this yet so this is a good before shot and this is what it's been like for four plus years as well so we just have usually lids in here and I've always used this box I need to replace it um, and then all of the containers in here and I usually just stack them miscellaneous usually gets stacked like this here um, all these ones you know get stuck together and then the biggest ones are in the back um, these are, you know, bought baby bottles and baby cups and little miscellaneous things here for the kids. Um, and that's my salad mixer. And then some baking stuff. I use these all the time in the winter. Um, you know, pretty much everything else here. This is all my cutting boards. I love these from Ikea. They're so flexible they're just so easy to store I'm actually going to get rid of this big green one because of these I have four of them and it just makes it so easy that when you're you know don't have that much space or when you just want to use multiple you don't feel bad that you have to clean them or anything you know one for meat and then one for veggies um, I've I have two packs again and I love I love 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 them and if they're ever wearing out just replace them they're so cheap at Ikea I think they're like two or three dollars um, so really, really convenient, really easy, um, easy storage. And then once I get rid of this green one, then I have, you know, much more space to put whatever I want to. And usually this is, oh, looks like there's some, <laughs> and the, the, uh, this is usually a three big stack of mixing bowls that I have here. And down here is some miscellaneous stuff. So, um, always soup bases down here, extra drink stuff. 
um, let's see what's in here, just a little bit of just tiny few spoons left of sugar that didn't fit in those containers. But this was a 10 pound bag, so I didn't expect it to, but there's just a little bit left, so I was just actually shocked. And this is um, usually where I store my KitchenAid supplies, so the things I use for my KitchenAid, but I also have um, this thing in there, it's like a jello mold. Um, but yeah, so just a little bin of that, and I will get to the rest, and yeah, but I just wanted to show you guys, I just have to put the stickers on here, and then I'll take a picture and post it right after this video, because I think that is all I'm going to do for now. I think it's quite a bit. Here's the full shot. Um, I might make one for those rice cakes up there to the right. And oh, all the way up top, we made this pantry. So I kind of customized it to exactly what I would want. Um, all the way at the top, we have a waffle maker, uh, whipping cream, shelf stable whipping cream from Trader Joe's. We usually have so many of those on hand. Um, extra rice cakes and stuff like that up there, peanut butter. Um, and then these are all of my extra stuff like uh, pancake mix, that's like the gluten-free one, falafel mix, taco shells, um, etc. So there is that. So just a bunch of little miscellaneous stuff. Oh yeah, all the way back there, you can probably see it is my to-go cups, to-go mugs. Um, so when people come over, I like to make them a little coffee for the road or whatever. Those are always back there. Um, yeah, and this is it. Okay, so I wanted to jump on here really quick to give you an update of about two to three weeks after I organized um, what my pantry looks like now. So I've pretty much stuck to it. Everything is pretty much the same. I think I added like two jars back here um, that are identical. I might switch these um, rubber things out for white later on, especially if I add more of these jars. Uh, one is of the brown rice back there, and then this one is just the sweet treats, um, suckers and whatnot. Uh, we've used quite a bit of rice. This is still the oats, and for the oats, I have a small Ziploc bag still of all of the um, toppings that I usually put in my oatmeal. Um, and I think the only difference is that I am now using this small jar, um, and these are the OXO containers. And I'm using this for the kids' um, brown rice cakes. And behind it is ours. Ours are like the regular ones, and then they get the brown rice ones. Um, and then, yeah, I haven't put labels on these um, soup ones, but I eventually will. Uh, nuts back there and then I've also added this little protein powder one right here um, These are still looking so good you guys if my biggest suggestion when you're organizing your pantry would be to get uh, bins like this and these ones down here because Especially for the stuff that you use rarely or you get multiple different um, flavors of the same thing it's awesome to just toss them in there and not have to really organize them like this. These are stuff that we don't change out very often up here. Um, you know, it's still this, the same white rice, the same oats, you know, everything else is pretty much the same. So we don't change all those out. But for, for instance, these bins hold, you know, like eight different kinds of dried fruit. So... I don't want to have to get a bin for every single kind of dried fruit, but we use them on a daily basis for the kids. So it's good to have a bin. You just take it out, use what you need, toss it back in. Um, but yeah, I mean, we've used and refilled most of the baking stuff since then too. Um, and this is amidst a, you know, a birthday party. So I've been able to keep everything all organized and I didn't want to make this video without giving you a update on how it's going and what have what has worked for me. I don't know what hasn't worked for me. I've just been able to learn from what has worked for me, which is, you know, bins essential. Um, I want to actually, one thing that isn't working for me is the kids, um, 
what is it called? Uh, sippy cup and bottle section. So I do, which is right here, and I've divided them into sm two smaller ones. And what I wanna do is get one big one like this to really just toss them all in there, all the sippy cups. Um, and that way we can fully utilize our space and not have two different ones. Um, but then these are the ones that I showed you earlier from the dollar store. They are working amazing. Um, I wish I could get white, but they didn't have white. So green works, it functions. It's a lot better than what I had before. So I'm good. <laughs> so yeah, these are um, all really good. And the only thing that I want to change out is the kids sippy cup section. So for now, everything's going well. I hope that you have some encouragement to update your own area. Uh, the only thing that cost me quite a bit of money is the OXO containers, which I know Amazon has a ton of cheaper options. Um, so you can dig around in there, but I wanted to get the OXO ones because I want to eventually get more of the same one. And I just worry that Amazon may, um, you know, not sell the one that I end up buying from there. So the OXO, um, hopefully will always be sold and I just want them all uniform eventually. But for now, um, I think that everything looks good and I highly encourage, you know, anybody that's wanting to start this process to do it because now I just come into my pantry and I love it. It looks so good. And when guests are here, I can keep the doors open not have to worry about it. And yeah, even my overflow section, you know, life happens. You need extras. Anyway, have a good rest of your day and I hope you guys enjoyed this, this video.